Arizona, a land of sun, stone, and silence. Its vastness stretches as far as the eye can see where the horizon shimmers under an endless sky. Here the air is dry and still, and the quiet is almost otherworldly. Deep canyons, striped with ancient colors, and towering saguaro cacti define its landscape. The painted desert's layers reveal a spectrum of reds, purples, and golds, each telling a story millions of years in the making. The Grand Canyon stands as a testament to time, its walls carved by the patient hand of the Colorado River. But beneath this breathtaking beauty lies a hidden force, one that shaped the land long before the river ever arrived. Arizona's tranquil deserts and pine forests conceal a violent volcanic past. The peaceful scenery belies the chaos that once erupted here when fire and ash filled the sky. Hundreds of volcanoes, now silent, once erupted with unimaginable power. Their explosions reshaped the land, leaving behind scars and stories etched into the earth. Their remnants, cinder cones, mesas, and ancient lava flows, dot the northern landscape, silent witnesses to a time when the ground itself was alive with fire. The land we see today is shaped by both water and fire, rivers carved deep canyons, while molten rock built new mountains and mesas, forever altering the face of Arizona. These sleeping giants are reminders that Arizona's stillness is only temporary. Beneath the calm, the earth remembers its fiery origins, and the possibility of future eruptions lingers. To truly understand this place, we must look beyond the surface and read the story written in stone. Each layer, each rock, is a page in Arizona's epic geological history. The quiet beauty is a direct result of ancient eruptions and relentless geological change. The landscape is a living museum, shaped by forces both gentle and violent. The ground beneath our feet is alive, its history forged in fire, its future unwritten. Every stone and shadow hints at the restless energy that still simmers below. Arizona's epic is not just one of peace, but of transformation. It is a land where silence and violence have danced for eons, shaping a world of stark beauty and hidden power. The silence is only the latest chapter in a much longer explosive story, one that continues to unfold just beneath the surface waiting for its next fiery act. North of Flagstaff lies the San Francisco Volcanic Field, a sprawling 2,000-square-mile gallery of fire-born hills and ancient lava flows. This vast region is one of the most geologically fascinating landscapes in North America, shaped by millions of years of volcanic activity. Over 600 volcanoes cluster here, dotting the land with cinder cones, lava domes, and craters. Each one is a relic of a single dramatic eruption, frozen in time yet still shaping the world around it. Cinder cones like Sunset Crater rise in stark black and red, their slopes a vivid reminder of fiery origins. Towering above them, the San Francisco peaks are the eroded remains of a colossal stratovolcano that once dominated the horizon, its summit now lost to ancient explosions. This volcanic field is a living timeline. The oldest volcanoes found to the west have been softened and worn down by countless years of wind and rain. In contrast, the youngest, like Sunset Crater, are sharp, fresh, and almost untouched, their features still raw from recent eruptions. For six million years, volcanic activity has migrated steadily eastward, leaving behind a trail of cones and craters that mark the passage of time. Each eruption has added a new chapter to the land story, building up the landscape layer by layer. The rich volcanic soil here supports vast ponderosa pine forests, some of the largest in the world. Ancient lava flows have not only shaped riverbanks and carved new valleys, but also created fertile ground for plants and animals to thrive. These eruptions have left behind more than just mountains, they've created resources, habitats, and unique ecosystems found nowhere else. Life has adapted to the harsh, mineral-rich terrain, resulting in a remarkable diversity of species. Today, the San Francisco volcanic field is a living laboratory. Scientists come from around the world to study its rocks, eruptions, and regrowth, witnessing firsthand the Earth's power to both destroy and create anew. Here, every hill and crater tells a story of relentless change, of fire, ash, and rebirth. The landscape is a testament to the unstoppable forces that shape our planet. Arizona's volcanic heart beats just beneath the surface, a reminder that the story of this land is still being written, one eruption at a time. Why does Arizona, far from the Pacific's tectonic chaos, have such a volcanic legacy? The answer lies deep in the mantle, where hot plumes, mantle hotspots, rise like wax in a lava lamp. As the North American plate drifts over this hotspot, magma burns through the crust, creating a chain of volcanoes. 
The field's eastward progression is a record of the plate's slow journey over a stationary heat source, but there's more. The region's crust is stretched by the basin and range province, making it easier for magma to erupt. Deep faults and fractures act as pathways for molten rock. The combination of a persistent hotspot and a stretched, weakened crust creates perfect conditions for volcanism. This partnership between deep earth and surface crust explains Arizona's restless geology. The land's apparent stability is an illusion, its fiery origins are ever-present. Sunset Crater last erupted around 1085, geologically just yesterday. The San Francisco field is dormant, not extinct, and scientists are always watching for signs of awakening. They monitor ground deformation, subtle swelling that signals rising magma, using GPS and satellite radar. Seismometers detect microquakes as magma cracks the crust, offering early warnings. Gas sensors track increases in volcanic gases like sulfur dioxide, another sign of impending eruption. By combining these clues, ground movement, tiny earthquakes and gas emissions, scientists can peer miles below the surface. This vigilance provides the best chance to warn communities before the next eruption. The sleeping giants are silent, but not forgotten. Arizona's future depends on listening to the Earth's whispers. The science of watchfulness is our shield against surprise. The next chapter could begin at any time. Arizona's volcanic story doesn't end at the state line. The same mantle forces and crustal stretching extend into southern Utah, where older volcanic fields like Marysvale tell a related tale. Utah's volcanoes are geological ancestors to Arizona's, formed by similar processes as the continent drifted over hot mantle regions. As the plate moved, the focus of volcanism shifted south and east, leaving Utah's eruptions in the past and Arizona's in the present. Studying Utah's eroded volcanoes reveals the deep plumbing of these systems, offering clues to Arizona's future. The connection is not direct, but a shared geological heritage. Understanding this regional context helps scientists predict what might come next in Arizona. The Southwest's volcanic fields are chapters in a single, ongoing story of continental transformation. The San Francisco volcanic field lies silent today, its ancient peaks and cinder cones a reminder of a fiery past. But beneath this calm surface, the forces that shape the landscape are still at work. Another eruption is not just possible, it's inevitable, though we don't know exactly when it will happen. If a new volcano were to form in our time, scientists would likely detect weeks or even months of warning signs. Sensitive instruments would pick up subtle ground swelling, clusters of small earthquakes, and increased volcanic gas emissions, signals that magma is on the move beneath the earth. The eruption would probably begin with a dramatic fissure opening in the ground, spewing molten rock high into the air. Over days or weeks, a steep cinder cone would rapidly rise, glowing at night as lava fountains light up the sky. Volcanic ash and toxic gases would shoot miles into the atmosphere, carried by winds across the region. Ash would blanket the landscape, turning day into night and disrupting daily life for thousands. Rivers of lava could incinerate forests, swallow roads, and obliterate homes and infrastructure in their path, leaving a trail of destruction that could take years to recover from. Major highways and rail lines could be severed, isolating communities. Power and water supplies would be at risk, as critical infrastructure faces the threat of fire, heat, and ash. Even a moderate ashfall could force airports to close, ground flights, and contaminate reservoirs, making clean water scarce for days or weeks. The effects wouldn't stop at Arizona's borders. Disrupted travel and supply chains could lead to empty grocery shelves and delayed shipments across the country, as goods and people are stranded. Unlike a thousand years ago, our world is now deeply interconnected. A single eruption could ripple through global networks, affecting business, communication, and daily life far beyond the eruption zone. That's why preparation and early warning systems are more important than ever. Scientists and emergency officials work together to educate the public, run evacuation drills, and develop technology to alert communities before disaster strikes. The next eruption will be a true test of our resilience, cooperation, and ability to adapt in the face of nature's power. Arizona's fiery past could become its future in an instant, reminding us that the land beneath our feet is always changing, and we must be ready. On this 4th of July, 2025, Arizona's ground is still. The San Francisco peaks and Sunset Crater are peaceful, their volcanic origins almost forgotten. But geology reminds us, silence is not the same as safety. The forces that built these mountains still simmer below. The current calm is only an intermission in a much longer drama. This knowledge calls for respect, not fear. 
Science gives us the tools to prepare and adapt. We cannot prevent the next eruption, but we can be ready. Arizona's landscape is alive, a legacy of fire, a promise of change. The sleeping giants beneath our feet remind us that the earth is always in motion. The quiet will end. The story, written in stone and fire, continues.